Hey y'all, y'all come on in. Today, I am making a chocolate caramel poke cake. Check it out. Let's get started. All right, you guys, let's get started. All right, so what we're gonna need to start out this chocolate poke cake is one and a half sticks of unsalted butter that's been brought to room temperature, as well as two cups of sugar. And to that, two teaspoons vanilla. And we're gonna get that mixed together. And you guys, I'll be right back once I get this sugar and butter and vanilla mixed in. All right, you guys, I have creamed my butter, sugar, and vanilla. You see how, how thick and fluffy it's gotten? That looks so good. And from this point, we are going to add in three eggs, one at a time. Just until the yellow is almost all the way mixed in. No eggs abandoned ship that time. All right, and from here, I'm gonna add in flour. And with my flour, make sure you guys can see that. That is two cups of flour, three quarter cup cocoa, one teaspoon baking soda, three quarter teaspoon baking powder, a half a teaspoon of salt. And we're gonna alternate that with one and a half cups of milk. All right, you guys, I'll be right back when I get the, when I'm about to add the last of the flour. All right, we got the butter, we got the rest of that flour and cocoa mixture mixed in. Gonna give that a quick stir, make sure we get everything off the bottom. And then I'm gonna put this in a 13 by nine cake pan and bake it at 350 for 35 to 40 minutes. Oh, just love chocolate cake. Get all of the extra cocoa and the flour. Make sure we got all of that in there together. All right, so let's pour that into our pan.
make sure y'all can see that really good I love a good chocolate cake strawberry cake vanilla cake good cake only cake I don't really like is anything that has coconuts in it so German chocolate cake I, I won't I won't dare it's, it's just wrong to have all those coconuts in it all of those pecans on it it's it's so the cake feels violated <laughs> all right so just spread this around just spread it around make sure it's evenly coated so this pan has been sprayed with some baking spray that already have flour mixed in it and I did line the pan with some parchment paper. So we're just going to bake it in the oven for 35 to 40 minutes at 350. And I'll be back, you guys, once it's time to poke the holes in this cake and move on to the next step. Be right back. All right, y'all, I pulled the cake out of the oven. It cooked for about 30 minutes. So I'm about to poke some holes into this cake so we can make a chocolate caramel poke cake. So you got to try to make them big enough without going down too far, but have enough space between them too. I don't know if that's too big, too small. Oh, that made that a crater. That is not a hole. <laughs> yeah, that's my sister and my mom laughing at me. Let me try one that does does not have such a big old hole. I'm gonna go with this one. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna show y'all this one. Don't laugh at it. But it's like the perfect size. It got a burn tip. It it had an accident. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's better. So just try to put them as far away without being too far. And big enough so that way um, your filling can go inside. All right, you guys, I'll be right back when I'm about to pour the caramel on top. All right, you guys, I finished poking all of the holes into the cake. And I got some caramel here that I made early in the week for, for another purpose. So... I'm just using what I have left. So you guys let me know if you want to see me make this caramel. Comment down below if you would like to see that. So let's see how well this is going to work out. You know what? Something's in my way. Let's try that again. So we're just trying to pour or spread the caramel over it so that way it'll help push it down into the holes. And also just keep in mind the best way to get this done is to make sure the caramel is, is warm enough and that the cake is warm enough. Fresh out the oven, it'd be great. And just spread it so it'll go down in the holes. Try to move as quickly as you can. Because, you know, caramel will set up pretty quickly. And we want to make sure we get as much in here as we possibly can. There we go. Because I want to fill these holes up and use as much of this caramel as I possibly can. Wow. <laughs> hmm. 
can. Not much as you can. You're going to use it all. Yeah, I'm going to use it all. All of you. Y'all heard my mother. She told me I left too much in the bowl while because I didn't scrape it all the way. Can y'all hear them? I mean, the commentary. <laughs> All right, you guys, I got that filled up pretty good with some caramel. This is going to be awesome. So just move it around, just get it in there as best you can, just to work it through. That way, it'll all be filled with as much caramel as possible. So, all right, you guys, I'll be right back when it's time to put the buttercream on it. All right, you guys, this chocolate caramel poke cake is now, I, I put it in the freezer for about 15 minutes just to let the caramel set. So what I'm going to do is add some caramel buttercream. I just made some regular buttercream, like that buttercream, chocolate buttercream video I made. Just remove the chocolate, then it's, then by that point it's vanilla, and I add some of my caramel to it to make caramel buttercream. So let's try to decorate this cake using this caramel buttercream. So all I'm doing is just I just use a, a a ribbon tip just to give it a different um a different look. You don't have to do it that way. You can add whatever buttercream you want on top and you don't have to make it look cute. I just wanted to. And all right, you guys, I'll be right back once I add the rest of this buttercream to it. All right, you guys, I had to go put my buttercream in the freezer for a little bit. It was starting to get too warm, so that made it really, really loose. So I popped it in the, in the freezer for about 10 minutes. Just, well, not the freezer, the refrigerator. Just let it sit a little bit more. So I can pipe out the rest of it and finish decorating this cake. So now that we have the cake all fully decorated, you can put as much of the lid as you want. Go around the edges if you like. Just to make sure you get as much buttercream on it. And then from there, you guys, let's give her a try. All right, y'all. The cake is ready. Let's give it a try. And y'all, I'm so sorry about the sound. It just wouldn't let me be great. But let's try this cake. Look at it. Look at me. I'm over here trying to be all neat and careful. It wasn't working, y'all. That parchment paper, it was all in the way. Just wouldn't let me be great. But that's okay. We're going to get this cake out of this pan, though. I'm still struggling. Look at me. Just struggling. Just struggling parchment paper just making the struggle real y'all that parchment paper it's not that I couldn't get out it's the parchment paper it's in the way but I'm gonna get it I'm get, look look at it look at it look at it I got it I got it yeah it's a big slice don't judge don't judge that sucker looks good Look at it, y'all. Let me get close. I need y'all to see what I see up close and personal. Give me a second. Let me let me get comfortable. Look at it. Look at it. Yes. Do y'all see what I see? Do y'all see it? 
Do y'all see it? Let me taste it. Let me taste it. That's why I'm smiling all big. It's time to taste this sucker. Ooh, wee. Look at it. Look at it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Big old bite. Don't judge. Big bite. Sometimes you need a big bite in your life. Y'all see that shimmy? Look at that shimmy. I'm going to call that a sway. That's when you know something good to you, when you sway with it, rock with it. And I was humming, y'all. You know, cake good to you when you got to hum with it. But that's all right. I was having a hard time trying to keep talking to y'all and eat at the same time. Look at it. Look at it. Can't even clean my mouth because I'm trying to eat some of that cake. But y'all, this cake was so good to me. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. So as always, y'all, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.